Kansas State men's basketball has had a huge turnover since the end of the season. James Love III and Nigel Shad made the decision to transfer. Cartier Jod announced he's transferred to Virginia Tech, and now David Sloan enters the transfer portal. After playing one season with the Cats, he sent out this tweet saying he'll be graduating and playing his final year of eligibility elsewhere. Sloan also took time to thank Coach Weber and the entire K-State family. However, top recruits have signed to Kansas State, including Nigel Pack, Selton Miguel, and Davion Bradford. Donovan Williams, a four-star recruit and ranked second in the state of Nebraska, is interested in K-State as well. There's no MLB or NBA or any sports going on, except for one that can still be played and is on the rise. Esports or video games can be played in the safety of your home, but it can also be streamed and watched by thousands. With classes all being online, high schoolers and elementary students are looking for something to do while at home. For over three years, Fortnite has been a top game for all ages. The third person shooting game has a cartoon look for younger kids and the fun competitive action which allows everyone to enjoy the game with friends. While some people play for fun, others play as their full-time job. These players stream on a variety of platforms such as Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. While players stream, viewers can donate to support them. Some donations can be as high as $100, whereas most are $5 to $10. With no basketball or baseball, Twitch saw an audience increase of 31%. Tyler Blevins, also known as Ninja, is a well-known player for his fun and creative streams. He has almost 15 million followers on Mixer and has streamed for over 8,000 hours. He also has brand deals with Adidas, Red Bull, and Samsung. Recently, he went to Twitter to support Feeding America. Inspired by Ryan Reynolds and Jimmy Fallon, Ninja donated $150,000. Obviously, to be in the financial situation that my wife and I are in right now, it's incredible. So one thing that we wanted to do was to give back as much as we can to a lot of the families that are being affected. There's this organization that's called Feeding America, and we have donated $150,000 of our money to this organization, and we are encouraging anyone else who obviously can afford financially to spare some extra money uh, to donate as well to pretty much any organization or foundation that is going to be affecting families and people around the world who are going to be affected affected for the next you know hopefully not that long but potential you know year yeah. uh, until we have a vaccine fortnite can be played on pc xbox playstation and your mobile devices the game allows cross play so you can play with anybody no matter what they're playing on pretty much hey all day I'm Daisy Hagedorn. All right guys, where are we landing? When it's time to take a break from video games, a walk can be great. While the weather is getting warmer outside, many people are going on walks with their roommates and or their dogs. If it's raining, however, staying home is the only option. Reporter Amelia Andrews has more on how you can stay active, stress-free, and have a healthy diet. With gyms being closed during the stay-at-home order, people are finding new ways to keep physically and mentally fit. You'll see a lot of people walking around the streets of Manhattan trying to dodge the sedentary lifestyle. The CDC suggests that the average person should walk 7,000 to 8,000 steps a day. I like to go on at least three walks a day. I typically go after every meal. Walking after meals helps with digestion and helps lower blood sugar levels. Also, being outside in general helps boost your immune system and it gives you that daily dose of vitamin D. If you're wanting to step up from just a leisure walk, Manhattan offers beautiful hiking trails in the Flint Hills called the Conza Prairie. The Conza offers three different trails giving a variety of new sites to see and distances to hike. Hiking offers many mental and health benefits. Finding ways to stay on your feet can be as simple as mowing your backyard. It will help you break a sweat and get you closer to hitting that step count. There's tons of free at-home workouts on YouTube you can follow along too. I like to practice yoga because of the numerous mental and physical health benefits. Yoga helps improve flexibility and muscle strength as well as reduces stress and anxiety. Another part of yoga that will help you with stress management is meditation. Meditation deals with the mental relaxation and concentration helping one focus on thoughts and breath. A healthy and more relaxed breathing strategy everyone should try is diaphragmatic breathing. This form of breathing expands the lower belly rather than just the chest. Start by lying on your back and place a book on your lower stomach. Practice on making the book rise with your breath. Place your right hand on your abdomen and your left hand on your chest and make your right hand rise as you breathe. Try doing this technique inhaling for five seconds and exhaling for five. Along with working out for mental and physical benefits, 
Make sure you're fueling your body with the right foods to give you energy. Food high in sugars spike blood sugar and insulin levels, leading to an increase in energy. However, products that are high in sugar but lack in protein, fiber, or fat lead to an energy boost that's followed by a sharp drop in blood sugar, otherwise known as a sugar crash. Swap out that processed sugar treat for some fruits or veggies. In Manhattan, Kansas, I'm Amelia Andrews, MHK All Day. Did I hear seven to 8,000 steps a day? I'm only a few thousand behind. I might need to check out the Cons of Prairie Trails. That's all we have today in sports. Be sure to check us out next week for more sports news and tips.